Y'all, I've tried to film this video 30 million times, so we gotta get, we gotta get it together. <laughs> This is my first video back to YouTube, so thank you guys for taking the time out of your day to watch to watch all this. So I've made a list, and we're just gonna jump right into it. I have been so bombarded with questions about my fitness and all these different things about what I do. So my channel is definitely going to be like brand new Shantae Marie like you have never seen before. Um, I am just so over seeing girls on YouTube all doing the same damn thing, to be completely honest. I don't have anything against um, beauty. Obviously, I love beauty. My vi my videos, most of them are beauty related, but I want to bring more to the table um, of s about stuff that I'm interested in my life. And at the end of the day, it's what's on the inside that counts, not the makeup that you put on your face. So I'm going to have more than just makeup and hair on my channel, obviously. And I hope you guys stick around and get to see just, I don't know, me blossoming on YouTube because I have changed so much. So Without further ado, let's get into this video. Um, so I started getting really into fitness um, in July of like 2011. Actually, my friend here on YouTube, Nicole, she started doing all these different fitness programs and with, I can't remember what it, Team Beach Body, Yeah, all of that stuff. And it just like made me think like there's a whole part of my life missing because when I was in high school and junior high and I played basketball from third grade and then I get to college and I'm not doing anything and literally when I would look at myself in the mirror I was like this is not how I pictured myself being like I thought I'd I thought I'd be playing basketball the rest of my life but life don't work that way so I decided to start researching just trying different things I tried so many things things didn't work I tried doing insanity I tried being a team beach body coach I've done all of that and that's just not the way the stuff works for me so I got really into weightlifting in October of 2014 because that's when my primo training started and one of my really good friends he's really into weightlifting he told me about this website called bodybuilding.com no this video this hair is straight and I don't like it but um, no, this video is not like sponsored by them or anything. It's just that's where I turned to when I was on my deployment for everything. Like that's how I learned everything was on that website. So I highly recommend that you guys go and check it out. If you don't know how to do any type of lift, they literally have videos to show you how to do lifts. If you don't know what to do to work out glutes, they have videos to show you what to work out glutes. They, you don't even have to watch the videos. They have it listed out word for word on paper. They have printable programs for free. You can print it out and keep track of your progress and it's all free. So I also order my supplements off of that website because it's so much cheaper than going to like GNC and all of that stuff. And yeah, I just, I really like the website and it's really helped me to transform into what, to what I look like right now. Um, I'm going to try and show you guys as many pictures as possible because I'm in shock when I see photos of myself and I want to inspire and, and motivate other people to know that anybody can do this because if I can do this, you can do this. Anyone can do this. I would get on Instagram and find pictures of people who motivated me and that would be my inspiration. One woman in specific that is like my, my girl crush of all crushes, I'll show her picture for you. She is such an inspiration to me and her body is exactly what I strive for to look like. So I know everybody's different. I'm not going to look exactly like her, but sh that's what I strive for. So have motivation, have goals, set them, break them, achieve them, make new ones. Like that's at the end of the day, what is it worth living if you don't have a goal? So just with anything, anything in life, you should think about it that way. Set a goal so that you can go out and get it and have motivation to do so. So I started seeing results from lifting weights in January of 2014 and it just motivated me even more to do better and I would post pictures on Instagram and people would be like oh my gosh like you look so great and it was just cool and now I'm to a point that people are asking me how I did it and asking me for advice so I'm in the process of of getting a personal training certificate so that I can really start helping people but at the end of the day like 
I will tell you whatever. I've literally had people email me and I've sat and typed out like a, a three paragraph email on exactly what I do. I've made people work out programs. So I am here to help you. And now that you've seen what I can do, I want you to go out and, and try and achieve what you want to do. So check down my sheet, make sure I'm saying everything I want to say. Uh, so I know that people are going to want to know the weight statistics because let's face it, most people want to lose weight. That's their biggest goal. For me, that's not my goal. I honestly don't step on a scale because I don't, I don't like it. So, um, I think it, it brings you down if you're not at what you want to be at. I weighed like 170, 173 at some points and that was just so disheartening and then my friend like he told me he was like just stop getting on the scale like you got to stop doing that to yourself because I just get so upset about it and it, it sucked so because I never weighed over 155 when I was in high school so that's why I thought that it was a big deal that I weighed that so um by the time that I left Afghanistan I wasn't able to step on the scale the whole time that I was there because we didn't have one but when we got back they they weighed us and I weighed 168 and I was like that's crazy because my my uniform doesn't even fit me anymore um so that's when I realized if you're close fit differently and you feel better about yourself and you like the way that you look, that's what matters. Like the number on the scale, that's just it. That number ain't nothing but a number. So it doesn't really matter as long as you feel better about it and you think that you look better and you look how you want to look. So that's why I don't step on the scale. Um, obviously before this video I had to step on the scale so that I could tell you guys honest numbers. But right now I'm weighing 149. I have dropped from a size 7. Um, actually, when I left for the deployment, I was up to a size 9. Um, I had always been a 7. Then I got back to a 7 around Christmas time. And now I am a 2. So, it's pretty awesome. It ain't nothing but a number. Um, so, just some key points that I want to leave you guys with. Because I'm going to make so many more fitness related videos. But some key points that I want to leave you with are. One, the main thing that I want you to get is that when I say like that I don't like cardio and stuff in my videos. It's not that I don't do it. I do it because you do have to do some. But I, I like to do alternative things so that it doesn't feel like I'm just getting on a treadmill and running. But um, when you build muscle, one pound of muscle alone will actually burn five to six calories at rest. So when you're sleeping at night, your body's burning. This is why I, like, I eat, I'll eat and two hours later I'm hungry again. Like it feels like I didn't even eat. My metabolism's so high. So like also that brings me to eating. Um, I eat all the time. Like I don't restrict myself. If you want something, eat it. Restricting yourself at the end of the day is just gonna cause you to eat the whole entire kitchen which I don't think people realize. If you restrict yourself all day and use like a calorie counter, at the end of the day, you're gonna go to bed and be like, man, I'm hungry. I eat all the time and I still go to bed and I'm like, man, I'm hungry. So eat what you want, be happy, try to make it healthy. Just try to do your best. Don't get down on yourself for one, one mistake. You can't live your life that way. Um, but like one pound of fat, it only burns about two, two calories at rest so you be the judge of of that if which one you like better because I know I like the muscle um like I said eating healthy I drink lots of water vegetables meats like that's how I do it and also making sure just not to to not work out if you miss more than three days in a row you're just on the pathway to breaking your habit it takes a long time to build a habit and for me, going to the gym every single day is what helps me. I take Saturday and Sunday off, but I'll run or go on a walk at home. And pretty much there ain't no days off for me. <laughs> I don't get tired. Like, I always want to be doing stuff. I like exercising. I like doing stuff. And, and just try and get out there. Try to get moving. Try to do something. So, yeah. That concludes my fitness journey. Like I said, I want to show you as many pictures as possible, so I'll leave you with some photos, and I can't wait to see you guys next time. Bye!